Hey fellow explorers, Explorer Teo here. I'm at the Hollywood Forever Cemetery in Los Angeles, California. This is my first time actually coming here and I'm realizing how many celebrities are buried in this cemetery. But the reason I'm here today is for Paul Rubens, better known as Pee Wee Herman. Paul Rubens was a comedic icon. Pee Wee play out, Pee Wee's bacon! With his tight gray suit, signature bow tie, and that laugh. <laughs> His famous Pee Wee Herman character becoming a cultural phenomenon, winning over millions of fans. From Pee Wee's Playhouse, a television staple in the 1980s. Anybody says a secret word, scream me aloud! <laughs> to Pee Wee's big adventure on the silver screen in 1985. I know you are, but what am I? I know you, you are, but what am I? I? His TV show earning 22 Emmys. Rubens later appearing as non Pee Wee characters in movies like Batman Returns and Buffy the Vampire Slayer, even guest starring on Murphy Brown. A statement on Rubens' Facebook page announcing his death at the age of 70 and revealing Paul bravely and privately fought cancer for years with his trademark tenacity and wit. Kena Whitworth tonight on the life of Paul Rubens. Yeah, ever since I had caught wind of Pee Wee Herman being buried here at the Hollywood Cemetery, I wanted to come over here and pay my respects. I've always been a huge fan of Paul Rubens and Pee Wee since I've been a kid. So it only felt right that once I found out where he was being buried, I thought I would come take a look. And here he lies. Paul Rubens. Pee Wee Herman. so much more surreal being here, knowing that in, I think, 2019, I had met him for the first time and took a picture with him and explained to him how much of an impact he had on my childhood growing up. It's pretty wild. We had a lot of people that came and dropped off flowers and all kinds of little trinkets for Pee Wee. We got somebody that dropped a Disneyland tag off here. All the oddities and snakes and stuff from Pee Wee's Big Adventure. We got a rock over there that's painted with a bow tie. Born August 27th, 1952. Died July 30th, 2023. Didn't realize that this flower bouquet was a bow tie. Paul Rubens, rest in peace. Yeah, I think the crazy part about it is, is just how many people have come and visited since I've been here, coming to pay their respects. You know, Pee Wee was a once, once in a lifetime guy that, you know, paved his way and took Hollywood over by storm. But the characters and acting that he had, he was just such a great actor and, um, I feel like the world is a little bit darker place with him not being here, but I'm glad to have been in his presence and enjoyed the works that he did in Hollywood. Yeah, this is my first time being here at the Hollywood Forever Cemetery. I didn't realize how many celebrities were buried here or interned here. And uh, I think Judy Garland, um, some of the Ramones, a lot of actors. Uh, I'm gonna try to get to take a, a glimpse of some of their grave sites here in a second. But yeah, this is it's actually a really beautiful place. There's a lot of people uh, sitting out here and reading books and uh, just hanging out. It's kind of an interesting place. There are people riding bikes through here, jogging. It's very beautiful and serene, as you can see. 
I'm gonna go take a look over here and see what we can find, what we can get into. Remember I told you that a lot of celebrities were buried here. We've got Burt Reynolds. Everybody knows Burt Reynolds. One of the greatest actors in Hollywood. Me and my son are here. Some of you may remember this actor, Anton Yelchin. He's in the Star Trek movies, the modern Star Trek movies, in addition to a ton of other Hollywood films. Died tragically, he was very young, had a long life ahead of him, got a statue erected in his, uh, in his honor. Come with me if you want to live. Johnny Ramone from the Ramones. Any of you rock fans out there definitely understand the impact that Ramones had in music. He's buried here also at the Hollywood Forever Cemetery. We even got the emblems on the end on the end pieces here. That's pretty awesome. And they have his autograph in the lower right hand corner. Legend. Got Chris Cornell. Such a great singer. One of my favorite rock bands. Soundgarden. Black Hole Sun. It's one of my favorite. It's probably one of my favorite music videos of all time. I'd say it's in the top ten at least. Such a great song. Even got a dedication to Toto from The Wizard of Oz. It's got some information there if you want to pause it and read it. Toto, darling. Oh, I got you back. Oh, Toto. You got Mickey Rooney. Such a great voice, such a great actor. Needs no introduction. Not too far over here. You've got Anne Hesch. If you were half a pilot, we wouldn't be on this island! I am the best goddamn pilot you're ever gonna meet! Ah! I've flown with you twice, you've crashed half the time! I just wanted to come pay my respects to Paul Rubin, Pee Wee Herman, my man. May he rest in peace. I am in Los Feliz in the Hollywood Hills, and I'm at an undisclosed location behind me. I'm sure you can see. The Hollywood sign, but I'm actually at the residence of the late great Paul Rubens. Just beyond those gates, which this is a private property, so I'm not going to go up there. But they're currently working on updating the house. And it's right here. This is where Pee Wee Harmon resided. They're currently working on updating the house. It's just amazing. Can't see it from here, but they got an armed patrol sign down there. I try not to get too close because I want to respect their privacy, but these are the gates. Now the house recently sold for 3.9 million dollars, which was uh, I think a million dollars less than its asking price. Um, and back in the day when Pee Wee's Big Adventure came out, the money that um, Paul Rubens made from the movie took and bought this house right here. And he's been there ever since. Um, there's some pictures online I'll try to post on uh, this video here that will kind of show uh, what the interiors look like. Um, they took some pictures when they put it up for sale, but um, yeah. This is pretty cool to be up here and, and see all this this uh, scenery. You know the Hollywood sign behind me, and um, how much the how much the price of the, the home has increased for. It's 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 pretty insane. It's pretty serene up here. If you could see what I see right now, you could understand why Paul Rubin would want to buy this location. It's very nice. It's got a great view of everything else. Um, this section down here. Uh, right below 
I'll turn the camera around. Right down here is the Bronson Caves. Um, you guys may be familiar with that or know that uh, that's the caves that was featured in the TV series Batman, where they came out of the cave. And a couple other films that uh, came out, I think uh, Army of Darkness. Um, and I think that's where they had a couple scenes filmed where uh, the Power Rangers would be fighting the putties. That was all filmed in Bronson Caves, which is right below me. But uh, but yeah, this, uh, this right here, that is the location for Paul Rubin's former residence. May he rest in peace. But that's going to do it for today, you guys. At the former residence of Paul Rubin's. Can't believe I'm here. A lot of places that said the house was for sale I actually did not reveal the address but with a little bit of research and persistence I found it I'll see you in the next video guys the Pee Wee Herman star on Hollywood Boulevard